Hi, welcome to Things You Can Do with the 2 Series MSO from Tektronics. Today, we're going to take a look at the digital channels. Now, each 2 Series MSO has the optional extra to add 16 digital channels. You can do this by purchasing the license file and also the digital probe, which comes with two 8 channel pods. To activate it is really simple. Just tap the D15 to D0 button. This then brings up all 16 digital channels. Now, I've got my first pod plugged into a demo board. So I only want to see the first pod. And it's a really simple way of activating only that on the screen. Now you can either do it individually. You can turn uh, each channel off on its own, or you can turn an entire pod off. So I'm gonna turn off D15 and D8. This then leaves me with my first pod of eight channels. I'm just gonna change the horizontal capture, let's say 10 milliseconds. So I'll just type in 10 milli. Just for me to see all the signals coming through on the digital channels. And these are perfect, because this means I'm not using up any of my analog inputs just for simple digital work. I can also trigger off any one of the digital channels really simply by changing the source. So change from one of the four analog, let's select D7. Okay, so D7. So I'm now triggering off digital channel D7. I can also make measurements in exactly the same way as I would using the analog inputs. So I select my input, select my channel. We can say maybe D7 and we can take a look at the frequency. Double tap and there's the frequency. You can also do serial decode and a whole host of other measurements off the digital channels. Another cool feature of the 2 Series MSO from Tektronix.